that's that's why that's nothing personal, but that's why like yeah, yeah, yeah. I always gave you a hard time because I'm like, man, dude, you fucking how come I could have come to party, dog? You know what I mean? Yeah. So, well, <laughs> hey, you know, take it as a compliment in a weird way, because a nobody ever tried to lock you out, but like, like literally. I dove into moto without about it. It was because of skateboarding. So it's like at the time, there was like terra firma and you guys was all I could draw from, you know, not being out there. So it's like, yeah, we grabbed bubs, but, you know, it was also through <gasps> death, you know, anyways, I, I know exactly what you mean. I totally feel like, like you guys created something new, but in all honesty, I was trying to not copy you. Like, Triple X, SMP, all those guys kind of took your formula. I was like, I don't want to be a copy. Because really, we didn't know what Shift's first video was going to be. And I was like, we don't want to do Like, if we did that format. Hey, Maestro, like, can we see Adam on the, on the screen? Yeah, I can see Adam up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, we're watching yeah, some guy take this. Uh, it's, it's all good. Some like, we. we We've rolled together through so many things over the years. Dana, I've come to appreciate it. Oh, shit. What happened? Oh, that I know what that is. The midgets. What? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> uh, that's the midgets. You know, the funny thing, though, Dana, about it is like, you know, you to think of uh, like the Rolling Stones. <laughs> like Ronnie Wood has been in the band for 30 years, but he's still the new guy. You guys have been doing moto filming for like whatever for twenty seven years. I've been doing it for like twenty four. I'm still the new guy. You know? No, 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 dis no disrespect. You've always been like you've always had hell of respect in my book and badass. I just never showed it to you because yeah, like, I always felt like fuck. It came and, and like yeah, I was, <laughs> I was stoked at all the stuff you did, but you're like. Oh, you guys are in my front yard, and I'm like, I can't even come out the fucking house. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, hey, and, and hey course, well, if we ever get Baco off the ground, you're getting a roll. How's that? Not, well, well, of course, all those guys were fucking, you know, at <laughs> that time, they were all going to be I think Dana's hours. getting baco right now. Yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah I'm getting baco right now. You're the star well, of Baco right now. Yeah. Well, that was the same thing, like, with the fucking freestyle motocross, when it's like, we pulled that lot, the whole Vegas thing together, you know what I mean? And like I my whole four leaf entertainment with Lofty and Jimbo and all of a sudden fucking it was a success and they're like fucking I, I didn't talk to those guys for a while after that. Like I all of a sudden I'm like the guy on the on the fucking island. Hey, what is that photo? Is that Bub? Oh, that's a midget. <laughs> oh Jesus. Why don't you play? Mid Okay. So wait, wait, wait. Is this Bubba lost? Adam, Adam, explain to us, um, like, how you came up with this concept and the movie that Adam and Troy Adamitis made is called Fresno Smooth. And just for everybody, our listeners out there, this is Adam Barker, our, our guest today. We're waiting for <laughs> big old Bubba, but he's traveling in Australia and kind of hitting in in between uh you know cell towers or whatever but give us the story how uh did you and troy come up with this concept and i know because <laughs> it started with the fox boys that we were then working with uh to do shift yeah so, yeah okay well it went down like this uh oh, hold I on one mean, second adam hang on uh, so sorry time just uh give me give me 30 seconds here uh, because since we're going to totally start the show now without Bubba, just give me give me just 30 seconds here, and then John, I'll just have you reintroduce him. So sorry. Give me 30 seconds. Yeah, are we, we're not, are we live yet? Are we going live or what? No, yeah, we've been live the but, whole time. But I just need to I just need to start recording. But are we going to go live again? Because <laughs> No, 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 no. Well, we're, we're live right now. Just give me a... you got to take the rips all over again. Um, That's what I'm saying. We're going to go live. I'm like, no, so right. go live, dog. Okay. So now, go ahead there, John. Please introduce our week guest that's here this week, Mr. Adam Barker. Go ahead, John. We're already live. How are you going to do so that? So today, we have uh, our special guest. Uh, we had him last week with, uh, with Mr. Larry Linkogel. But this is uh, Adam Barker has joined us again. 
because we have a lot more to talk about with Mr. Adam Barker. Yeah, because uh, Adam uh, Barker, hey, yeah. Adam Barker is a badass and came into Huntington Beach back in the day. Right, at, it was right after what Adam <laughs> Krusty Two. Or Krusty Krusty, I was at the Krusty 2 premiere. That was my Krusty intro. 2. Yeah, yeah, that was my intro to you guys. It was after Krusty 2. It, okay, and then yep. yeah, Adam came in and, and somehow he can't. You wrote or came up with the most ridiculous freaking movie on the planet <laughs> in motocross, right? It, <laughs> it's kind of like Fast Times meets Ridgemont High. Uh, meets crusty. Yeah, <laughs> and this, this, this and this is where I was chiming in on Adam, giving him a hard time because he like popped in with like full blown motion picture guy, full blown like everybody was no, <laughs> absolutely well, no. not. <laughs> no, no. Well, well, those guys that like the Bubba's and the and Seth and all them, you you took them to a different place, you know what I mean? Than they were at. Yeah. And I don't know what kind of cameras you guys were running back then and everything, so I wasn't there. <laughs> I was down the street. But uh, when you guys filmed at um, 16 Seth- Mill, right, Adam? Yeah, Fresno was on a Airy SR2 16 millimeter. 16 millimeter film, yeah. And then you guys, when you came in, you guys did the whole thing with Bob and Seth and everybody. What's what was the skit that you did at 17th Street? I don't even know what 17th Street is. It was the donut shop. It was the donut shop. Uh, what the fuck did, did we shoot there? We shot something at the donut shop because we did Bubba. We did, was it Russ? Something like that. We did the no. That was at, that was at the uh, Mexican food store in Riverside. And was how the hell that, that was a funny shoot. How the hell did hey, you well, get all back these? Up. Tell, uh, Jana, just, Go ahead. If you're curious, yeah. I'll tell you how the whole thing started. It was, I actually, well, I'll try to make it quick, but the, the, how Fox grabbed me and how I became part of what would ultimately become a um, good 14 years of my cr- shooting freestyle motocross and uh, supercross and whatever else, was I went to San Jose State. I had gotten into a film school, and my dad's like, well, I'm not going to pay for any of it. If, you know, I don't think there's a future there. So, you know, we agreed on advertising, but I was a little pissed. But, you know, when I went there, I was like, fuck it. I was too rebellious. And so I made a feature at my school on a VHS camera or a mini TV camera, whatever, with some shitty camera, literally a full feature like movie. And I had all the skaters in it, all the football guys in it, you know, just anybody I could grab. And everybody wore wigs and it was like a full feature. Well, the premiere at our school, even though it wasn't for school credit, I was there for advertising, uh, it blew up. And it blew up all over our campus. And, you know, people were bootlegging because it was before the Internet. And John Fox got a copy of it and showed it to Greg. Greg lost his mind. is like, dude, this guy is off his rocker creatively. We got to get him. So literally, <laughs> <laughs> that is the truth of it. I was about to graduate college to go in right into advertising. Had my long grunge hair, you know, I was ready to cut it all and whatever. Just just go for it. And and Greg Fox, you know, brought me in and uh was like, Hey, we we're we're starting to do a lot more filming and we want some edgier stuff to it's like skate videos. And I was like, that was my resume. I'm like, that's all I do is skate and watch skate videos. And so that's why there was a bunch of skaters in my movie. And uh, and that's where it started. The very first thing, in the fu- here's a funny little part. A, I love Greg Fox. He was always so cool. So it was still <laughs> Greg Fox. But here, when he first started, I was like, you know, he's like, we really liked your movie. And this is how good I sold myself. I go, dude, I don't even know. I don't even know how I got through it. I go, I really barely know what I'm doing. That's what I told Greg, who's trying to hire me. He's like, well, you know, it still came out, you know, cool. And we could see all the creativity. And, you know, he goes, we'll, we'll teach you. And I was like, that, that was just a fucking dream come true. Because I had so much fun making my movie. But I remember Greg's like, he writes down, he goes, here's how much we'll pay you. Totally like in a movie. He writes on a piece of paper and he slides it to me. So I look at the piece of paper and my response to that was like, dude, you don't got to pay me that much. I love doing this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, because then like, you know, you literally, you, you know, another couple of years in, everything becomes about, well, how much do I get? But I, it was so innocent at that point and so fucking exciting 
that I was trying to quickly date myself with Moto. So at that time, there was no freestyle video other than Krusty One and the, the earliest Terra Firmas. And I'm sure Moto Triple X is going to call and yell, we were out too. I didn't see it. So to me, it was the give. Fox Library, which was sick. I mean, those guys were really fairly revolutionary as well, taking you know their thing. But it was a lot more Fox based. You guys, who I knew from the crusty, you know, right? I'm sorry, from uh, Creatures, Creatures of Habit. Habit. I already <laughs> yeah. knew your style. And a lot of the shots from the latest Creatures of Habit actually were in Crusty One. And so, of course, I'm like, that's, you know, this, I got this. Like, you know, and, and then so I was working with Greg. I was, the very first thing I was ever given to do was to edit a segment. And it, it was really funny because it was little Carmichael, little Pastrana, and little Bubba Stewart all together for Terra Firma 2. That was the first thing I ever did is edit those three guys, and uh, which later would become like three massive champions in their own right. But uh, so that was the first thing. And then very quickly, it was like, okay, well, Shift is coming in to separate from Fox. The family Fox is going to now have. Oh, you got blown out. Oh, yeah, sorry, sorry. Maestro, you're, you're blowing us out. I know it's getting too story time. But anyway, so the idea was, what is Shift's movie going to be? And it was like, I just did not want to do a carbon copy of Krusty. You guys had that format. I mean, it was original at the time. Everybody's copied it since. So in all honesty, I was trying to not copy you. You know, it was Seth, we had Emig, and, I, and from the Fox side, I was like, we got to get Metzger in. Like, it's all so infant, but I was like, Metzger's amazing. He's so funny. He's going to be great. So I had those three as my base. And then it was like, okay, well, I made this movie in college. Let's start talking about making a movie starring these guys. And that, that's really what it was. And so, um, well, actually rewind. The first one was supposed to be about Dave Mir. It was going to be in the BMX. Pete Fox said, I love the idea of doing a feature with these guys acting. Let's do it in moto. So that was Pete's part of it. So then it bumped up, who is Shift, who are these guys? And then it was Seth uh, Fro, and uh, I brought on Mets, and that was my base. The first guy we got to, uh, oh, God, I have a pretty funny story. The first, the first outside person we got was Ron Jeremy. There's a really funny story. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tell us. I don't know if we want to go too story. Tell out. us. Tell uh, us. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I don't know who I'm throwing under the bus. So, so. I mean, you have to rewind it to 1999, and it, it was pre-internet, which just seems so archaic now. But we were like, "How the hell can we get a hold of Ron Jeremy?" And uh, and so um, and who is like, Ron Jeremy? Wait, let me wait, 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 let me ask you a question. <laughs> yeah. So, are you responsible? Is that the reason Ron Jeremy showed up at our Krusty Three premiere? Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Awesome. Well, I'm glad there we started with a nice riot. <laughs> and, and, uh, and, the, and the whole that whole thing came up because the guy that was one of my uh, <coughs> during college was just obsessed with him, and I, he was super funny. This guy named Phil. He loved Slayer and he loved Ron Jeremy, and he was like, you know, he convinced me that you know that Ron was pretty funny. And uh, just for the, the fans out there that don't know, Ron Jeremy at that time was the pinnacle of porn star man. Yeah, but but in but not the most attractive dude. So the fact that the not an attractive dude <laughs> is in all these porns, but he always had storylines and that was what we thought was funny, but also getting <laughs> together with, you know, the top starlets of the day. So it's for it's, 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 it's so well, the, it's, the story goes like this, and it, it involves Damian Sanders. So I'm sure he's gonna not be too stoked, <laughs> but I'll, I'll try to make it go light. So we, the very first thing we did is um, there was gonna be a, a porn convention in Vegas, and so oh God, I can't remember his name. One of the guys at, at Fox said, "Hey, I, I, my friend Damian Sanders is there doing some stuff," and I knew Damian because of your guys' videos. And so he's like, go out there. He'll get you some passes. Um, he's going to, he'll hook it up and, and wow. you guys get into the convention and go meet Ron. I was like, okay. So literally like two 
weeks out of college, I'm on a plane to Vegas to go meet Ron Jeremy to get him into a movie that I'm going to be doing with all these freestyle motocross pros. I'm going, how did my life get so good? So I, I get to, <laughs> so I get to Vegas. This part's funny. And, uh, you know, Damien, apologies in advance. I, get, I knock on, on, on his his door and, you know, it's like it's like noon or something. It's 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 daytime opens up and and you couldn't trash a hotel room harder if you tried it felt like a set if they were doing the sex pistols movie it was everything in there was completely shattered but he he answered totally of sound mind and couldn't be nicer more polite come on in you know you know how's it going i heard about you know whatever yeah i got you guys some passes and everything else and i'm just looking around the room just going oh my god this is insane so he gets me two passes to the porn convention and i'm leaving and he goes hey, hey um can you do me a favor in, in return i'm oh uh, yeah you know do what anything what's up like uh he goes hey i got this girl that's kind of like kind of out of her mind and i just need someone to sort of take her back to her hotel and i was like yeah you know no problem and so he he passes and my, i get my high school buddy to come with me he he passes this amazingly beautiful girl off and she's like definitely torqued you know and uh and so i'm like hey well we're gonna we're gonna make sure you get to your hotel safe we get about to the elevator and i mean she just like on us like on us on us and i'm looking at my buddy for my we're going i don't what you know like it was it was a little it was it wasn't anything that i was used to and uh you know, it, it, let's just uh, let's just say it went, it went, it got a little, it got a little crazy in the middle of the day from there. And I was like, "What the fuck is this new industry? Like, how did I land in this fucking job?" And it, it, it was, it was, it was befriending Ron Jeremy, who like I had my pitch already as if he was going to say no. I got like three words into it. He goes, "Yeah, I'll do it. Fuck it." And uh, and from there, it was actually Ron that got me in touch with Lemmy. Which is funny because Ron, Ron Jeremy was very funny and a very cool guy, and he's like, uh, like, yeah, we're trying to just get whoever we can at this point, and uh, you know, and that's where we got in touch with yeah, John Oak. Yeah, and so in, anyways, that's that's how that's how the, the whole thing began, and from there, the more scenes we filmed, the more I would just keep reaching out to anybody I could to just start filling it with cameos, and obviously coming from skating. I knew Hawk from Del Mar, who I, you know, I was a Del Mar skate ranch kid. So I got Hawk, and then I was able to drop those names. And then, you know, pretty soon it was just like the more cameos. We were just, we were just getting, we were rewriting the script as we went. And it was an opportunity hey, Adam, to. Did you, uh, did you skate at Del Mar? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I had, I had a half pipe in my yard all growing up. I had up. a million. Did you it skate vert? Right? Footer, half pipe. Did you skate vert? Yeah, that's all. That's all I did. Dude, that's awesome. That's where I came from. I, I used to skate the uh, the Henry Hester series. Like I used to hang out. Yeah. With, like Neil Blender and Lester Kasai and. Dude, uh, Neil Blender is my all time favorite. I was I was a few years later, but I did all the castle contests. Dude, I I became a professional snowboarder because of Neil Blender. Neil dude, Blender. Neil Neil was my hero, dude. His art his style his oh yeah yeah well the first ever snowboard he turned us on to these it was like a plastic sim snowboard thing then then we went and bought them and uh it had a skateboard deck bolted on the top but we used to skate at state city and whittier if you ever heard of whittier yeah that of was, course that was my local park but we started at started at skatopia back in the day yeah. yeah, by the time I got into it, like pretty much Upland was getting torn down, and we Del Mar Skate Ranch was the last of the Mohicans for California skate parks. But I used to do, I mean, I was already getting creative. I had a camera and a dark room in my closet, so I was making zines. I got in the whole zine deal. Nice. And, uh, you know, skating was just everything to me. It was like the whole, I love that whole fucking culture. Transworld and Thrasher were my Bibles. I'd read them like a million times, make oh, my yeah. own scene, and like just hang out at the skate ranch anytime I could convince my parents to take me there and drop me off for the weekend. So <laughs> I used to go to uh, Skater Cross all the time with uh, Mr. Bert Lamar. 
<laughs> Bert Lamar was a good friend of mine, and and that's the whole reason that I got into uh, uh, snowboarding because of Bert and skateboarding with with Bert Lamar uh, over here at Skater Cross, and that led me to go up to uh, like Snow Summit or something like that, Dana. Remember, and we met each other. Yeah, we met through because uh, of Nibble. skating, and Bert brought me up there, and I was like, oh my god. And I'm a surfer. I was like, you mean you can surf in a mountain? This is incredible. Like, I'm like, that's the longest wave I've ever caught in my whole life. This is awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but that's yeah, how no. I met Dana, through Bert Lamar, through skateboarding and all that. And it turned into, you know, the early days of snowboarding. And they told me, that will never last. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Skiers were like, you guys, you know, you slide sideways and all well, that. Well, speaking stuff. of speaking of movies, speaking of movies, that was that was our first movie. And the funny thing is, when I met John, Rangers. I just came off of well, I just came off of the Western Front, and Damien and them. I used to live with Damien. Speaking of Damien, <laughs> and uh, he stayed in Tahoe, and they're filming Critical Condition with Jerry and Artie. And I met John. He's like, he wanted to make a snowboard movie. So I'm like, fuck, are you kidding me? Because I just got, you know, kind of bumped out of the movie we were making up there because I was down here. So we took off on that mission. But it's funny. Remember this, John? Yeah. I did the same thing in his, like, uh, what, Pepperdine. And I remember seeing one of your old, like, horror films like you're talking about. Uh, <laughs> yeah, of Adam. course. And it, yeah. <laughs> And it's such a fucked up movie. Nar, like, like if you would have made mix that, stuff, I killed my roommate with a puppet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, 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 How it, we it, never talked about it, this, John? It, we it would have, Sorry, listen, go there. Adam. It would have been Fresno Smooth if John would have mixed the mo like instead of me with him. If he would have mixed the motocross with what he did, he could have made like <laughs> right, Johnny, because. Like what you're saying, that crazy mix, and yeah. that's well, I think I, Adam did a, a little mix, <clears throat> a little bit of horror, a little bit of gangster, this that. We were just uh, filming real people doing crazy stuff and inventing uh, characters. And I think that Adam saw that you know what we were doing with our antics in real life uh, to to make a, a script around that. Uh, if I'm correct, Adam, that uh, you saw these guys as characters and you wrote them each apart. Yeah, and but Johnny, I don't, I don't think he's ever seen your college project like he was talking about his college project. Is what I'm saying. Yeah, we that probably that not be a movie night right there, <laughs> like, John. Like, trust me, right I there, <laughs> I can see that. Like you guys, fucking swap. Those projects, you fuck. <laughs> yeah, no, they, no, they, we got to do it for sure. And I kind of even got lucky with that. A couple of the skaters that were San Jose guys that I put in it ended up becoming massive pros too, like Louis Barletta from Enjoy and uh, uh, Chad and Chad Gonzalez. And so, you know, I don't know. But yeah, let's. I, John, all those years of us talking <laughs> shit and all everything. How did we not ever discuss or watch each other's college movies? Like that's fucking <laughs> insane. Like we got to do a double feature and uh, hit those up. Like I'm dying to see. It. <laughs> no, no, it's funny. so amazing. Hey, I, I'd it. have to go find it. <laughs> the oh, yeah, well, I mean, so, so did I for the secret footage we're going to show here about Bubba. But what the fuck is Bubba? Who's lost what in I think, Australia? And a let, truck let's for those let's go movies? ahead with with our. Uh, episode, and why don't we start with Flash O'Callaghan? Yeah, Krusty Thirteen, and well, give it a little intro because it, I had known okay, you guys. Okay, okay, I had known you guys the whole way through, and yeah. finally, or not finally, John, talk about how it began. Okay, well, uh, for the fans out there, uh, you know they grew <laughs> up with with Bubba in Krusty Two. When he went down the hill and, and uh, you know, get off my land, you know, you damn dirt bikers and this whole thing. And we turned Bubba into a character. Uh, he survived the, the role. Well, wait, wait, wait. Let's, let's, let's back it well, up. Well, you know, I'm just going to say that we developed Bubba into a character. So not a character. Not a character. Bubba 
cries to me every year about what am I going to do? What's my thing? So I invent a vehicle or a stunt for that fucking dude. That is dude. true. Yes. And then, John, and then I call John and go, I got a great idea. Sometimes <laughs> it just starts with going to the fucking swap meet and finding a funny helmet. Yeah. But for the most part, like the, I like to keep Bub yeah. line. I can't. We can say there was a couple dummies maybe here and there, but for the most part, <laughs> We've been pretty good about making them. Bubba's taking back. some lumps. Let's put it that way, fans. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, like the mini bike. The mini bike. <laughs> he's gotten worked over the he, years. Yeah, he, he's he's done good. And and the biggest thing, like, well, like the Flash O'Callahan stuff, like I was telling you on the last show. Like, dude, we've there's never been a character that's played a character as, as good as Adam. Adam is just fucking. I, I kill, yeah. you kill me every time I watch that, and I get so in, I get so into it that I forget that I fucking, I forget that I made Bub's flying buggy, and it's like <laughs> so perfect, and it fucking landed, and I'm like, I, you know, what I mean, sometimes it fucking tricks me. So <laughs> I think the the, the backstory on this is. Uh, I think I was telling you, Adam, that what we wanted to do with Bub and we wanted to fly this buggy and drop it uh, from a helicopter and make this whole thing. And I want to make you a character, but your character is going to be like a guy on seven Red Bulls and about eight coffees with like triple sugars in all of them. So uh, that was your character. And you're kind of like a a Dana. How did you describe him? He's a fucking car salesman, flash yeah, car salesman. Yeah, yeah. He's <laughs> trying to sell us a car and a, a bit of Geraldo. Yeah, I. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I think. I, well, it, the way I kind of remember it was, was it was going to be. Uh, John called me up, but it was like we were going to be making fun of like the ESPN guy, and I think yeah. Dave is the one that's like pretend like you're whacked on a on a shitload of red bulls or whatever and i was like okay i got this but the irony is i had put i mean everybody i had put so many non-actors in skits and directed them and did the improv i never had it flipped on me really until this so i was like (laughs) i I, so i felt this like i better put my money where my mouth is they're doing to me what i do to everybody else so it was like it was like okay i better fucking come correct so (laughs) i'm looking at you had like you know, the boom guy hit me in the head and uh, the whole thing. And, yeah. Oh, I just my God. Direction from you guys. You you know, sometimes, John, you wouldn't have a thought. I'd just go, say something here. And I just remember going, I'm going to give them all I can. I'm just going to keep winging whatever we got. And we shot <laughs> a fuckload of takes of everything. I don't know how you guys cut it together. One like, of my favorite shots that's coming up, and we're going to show this here, is when you're running after the helicopter when... Bubba's getting uh, picked up, and, you, and you're trying to hold the mic up. I, I was going to say the same fucking thing. I was going to say the same fucking thing, dude. I'm like, dude, I was, I was just sitting here cracking at some fucking guy. Like, if that's you, Adam, it's your character coming through. It's so fucking funny, dude. It's awesome. It's like, let, let's run this shit. Well, you let's know, run the... I knew Let's the legacy. For it. I had worked with you guys, and I was so stoked to be like given an opportunity to be in one. So here we go. Here we go. Another episode of World Cup. <laughs> I show Callahan. We extreme news. We are here live for yes, another first. Jim Bubba Jason is getting ready behind us. What's the mood? It's extreme. We're here live. The helicopter has just arrived. Before maybe another 10, 15 minutes, Bubba, as far as I know, will be going up into the helicopter and going for his world record drop. <laughs> um, the chances of bloodshed, would you say? Beans. One and two, two and four, three and six. Where are we at? I say about... 33 and 3% out of 99. 33 and 3%. <laughs> no stranger to being a daredevil. Seth, let me ask you this. Seth, right. um, Now, a drop, what exactly is that? Well, Bubba wants to reach three digits, so he's going for 100 foot plus, elevated above the ground with a helicopter, and then released, and hopefully lands on this transition that they built with the tractors. What are you going to see today? 
Well, it hasn't been unveiled yet, but we're about to pull back the tarp and uh, show everybody what the tool is for this job. Bubba, the amount of skill it required, I guess, is <laughs> That's pretty good, too. He's had a burrito <laughs> and the six-pack. I think he's ready. <laughs> Bob. There he is. Moments before the jump, I, I heard you had a special rig going. Um, people have been dropped in all kinds of things, barrels, uh, other things that look like barrels. What are you dropping in today? Well, I got a specialized jet buggy uh, that was built specially for this job. Uh, we had a bunch of NASA scientists and uh, engineers that have been working on it for the last couple of months now. And today My we're going to make the world record drop. You heard it. Walter Flash O'Callahan, we extreme news. Walter O'Callahan. Maestro, we need to stop. Oh, we got to blow out. World record we right. have in here. The world oh, no. record. That's a 93 foot straight drop to the ground. Well, I wouldn't be a man if I didn't go for 100 plus. There's your buggy, D. Dana's <laughs> creation right there. Papa, what is going on? Hey, that thing cost me like three or four airplanes. Fire it up. Now, what exactly does that mean? Walk us through the steps in these critical moments. Well, it's really not that hard, guys. Just flip the button. Flip a button. Oh, my God. Let's do it. Extreme. <laughs> you heard it. Flash O'Callahan, Wave Stream TV. <laughs> We are here live. Here he is. Yeah. What's your name? My name is Big Bouncing Billy. And explain to the people what exactly is a drop. Pretty much they take me in the air and they drop me. <laughs> what was your exact Guinness record? Where, where, where do they have you clocked in at? They have me clocked in at 90.3 exact. That is high. <laughs> found out that there is steroid use involved in some of the drops. Have you ever done steroids? I've uh, never been tested or nothing like that, but no, I, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> we found that guy on the way. He's everything. As you can see, the hook has just been crazy. There's no way out right now. Extreme TV. This is extreme action. This is everything we've always wanted. Baba, the last minute you're fastening the helmet. Are there any last thoughts? No, there isn't. We live on the edge, and this is life. If there was ever a time, it is now. If there was ever a place, it is here. There you go. I did that thing went behind the three privilege. at that stuff yeah i think we got issues <laughs> uh oh <laughs> yeah oh That's my god funny. that was crazy oh fucking wizard what you got going on <laughs> you just, <laughs> maestro bring us back in maestro. maestro's on acid right now hang on guys, hang on, guys. <laughs> i think your bong rip 
floated over to his house. Yeah, my show's, <laughs> my, my show's on a bar ramp. He's up to the ringer. I love it. I mean, oh. Barker, you still there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God, we're all still amazing. here. We're all still here. Life is good. Hey, call. So, Barker, you. where'd where'd you get that suit? Uh, well, that that wasn't that one was just whatever. Just it, that one, but the, when when I got called back to do Flash of Callahan, I actually went to a thrift store. Yeah. and found that green suit, which I had someone sew a big X on the back. Oh, and, that's uh, right. That that <laughs> suit was you know I was kind of proud of. But this that was that one was the one we did last week. Yeah, this, this yeah, one I was just, I was just, I was just yeah. trying to look like, uh, you know, one of those ESPN guys. <laughs> Are we going to go like John Wick and, and get to number four? I did. I, I, if you guys call <laughs> me to do Flash or Callahan for anything, I'm back in. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> It's we funny because I go, I end up working for this fitness company and working with Tony Horton a lot, and his thing was this, and I'm like, I had it first, <laughs> motherfucker. Is that Bubba? <laughs> is yeah. that Bubba? Oh no, oh no, no, this is no, this is what I was gonna sneak attack Bubba with. He always talked about in in uh, in, <clears throat> in Fresno. Well, if we if we want to go there now, but in Fresno, we had one scene with Bubba where. He runs up the stairs, and he. Uh, I, I wanted him to really puke. And um, why don't we go into uh, a bit of the things that we have on Fresno Smooth, and we'll okay. kind of lead into that. Yeah, hey, sure. why, don't you, why don't you call him on the phone, Johnny, and we'll just put yeah. him on the speaker and we'll talk shit on him while we're watching. Yeah. Good. And you want me to dial it into one fifty nine, the cop intro? Uh, yeah, go to that. All right, cool. Sorry for all the is, This is our character that you know we invented in I think Creatures of Habit was the first time D. For and Bubba? Then, yeah, Bubba. Uh, we blew his head off. Yeah, we had him in Creatures of Habit as Yeah, we a shot him with a cannon, blew his head off. And never then, put two and two together. Number yeah. two was when he came rolling down the hill, and that's probably where you knew him from. That was hundred percent it. Yeah. And then you created this character uh, into a, a cop that's pissed off and freaking out. He's got a wife that's pregnant and drinking beer. And I ain't having no Blaine Flanagan Jr. <laughs> Which you had Christian Fletcher play as a, uh, a star on a, a soap opera. Yeah, and I mean, my Bubba's whole deal wife was, was infatuated with her, but we didn't know that uh, there was some problems uh, with his girl on that soap opera for Christian. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean problems with his girl? Christian's girl. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Standing up, taking a piss? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, everybody's everything now, man. What are you talking about? You uh -huh. can everybody's everything. <laughs> yeah. Holy fuck, it's raining. All right, call Bub's ass. Let's fuck with his ass. Uh, I just tried him. Uh, Anyways. All right, well, let's play some shit then. Let's play some of the uh, Fresno Smooth for people. <clears throat> Maestro, he's all, fuck, where's the button? Hit the button. Holy shit. Mm. Holy moly. Bob. Hello? Hello? Yeah. You're live in audio. We're going to be I'm... watching Fresno oh, yeah. Smooth. How you doing? Hi, Bob. Bubba. Bub's stuck in the outback. Nice. He's got a big girl trying to tow him out. We'll throw back arts, Bub. <laughs> yeah, just for the fans out there, we're talking to Bubba here. 
Uh, he's over in Australia trying to figure out how to get out of the outback and get down to the Gold Coast, Sunshine Coast. Yeah, you know, it's just hard to get wireless out here. And um, and we stopped and, you know, it just didn't work out. But uh, sorry about that, guys. But uh, anyways. Um, you, you got trucker butt now, all the truck stops? Hey, bub, that's okay. Trucker butt, dude. <laughs> wet, wet wipes, fucking... An empty beer bottle to pee in, the whole, everything. Nice. It's in the horn. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, no, it's nice out here. I decided to uh, ride up with Troy back to his house off the sunny coast um, so we can, um, you know, plan on put together the new new show. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, that's that's what we're doing. That's why I'm staying a couple extra weeks. So Bubba's out uh, for the for the fans out there. Bubba's traveling across yeah. Australia right now uh, with uh, a great promoter. Uh, his name is Troy Garcia, um, and he's got several uh, monster trucks. So the idea for us is hopefully because uh, Dana and I had uh, a hell of a lot of fun with our first monster truck that we did in Perth. So the idea is that Bubba and Troy and me, Dana, we're all going to design a, a new crusty demons monster truck and extravaganza type of show. So we'll keep you posted on that one. And I'm going to drive that bitch. When yeah, it's, a full, it's a full motorsport tour. <laughs> We're going to do something a little different, not just dirt bikes. We're going to have a bunch of dirt bikes. We're going to have quads. We're going to have desert trucks. We're going to have monster trucks. Rocket cars. You can put gas into. And it's going to be a, a motorsports bonanza super blowout. Like the Metallica song. Give me fuel. Give me fire. Give me that what I desire. Oh, shit. Don't sing, John. <laughs> <laughs> You know what the funny thing, Bob? And then you all of our yeah stuff and that we have, yeah, we just blow it up. Well, I think I think Bob yeah, will. We're gonna blow shit up, man. Hey, Bob, I think you'll contest to everybody else's show. They're just landing on a bunch of airbags, and some of the old school motocrossers are kind of like scratching their head on all that airbag stuff. So I think we're gonna design something yeah. with you know. Yeah, no. But, no like, I understand the safe I understand the safety issue, but um that's kind of the way it is these days with um you know the f- new freestyle riders and stuff like that. Remember they are just doing the same shit we did twenty years ago yes. with maybe an extra kick or twist, you know what I mean? But um they're they're all talented and they're all good at what they do, but we're gonna bring a lot more other motorsports in and make it, you know, a, a, a big bonanza of uh you know, yeah. and, hey, and a rocket car, right, bub? Oh, we got a rocket car that's going to burn things down. Yeah, the fucking thing almost burnt me up. It actually melts cars. Yeah. <laughs> it almost burnt me up yeah, in Perth. It's going to be all kinds of action. We're just building it right now, but even the pre show, like, so, well, you can get, uh, we'll be able to ride and then. And, Driving truck, whatever it is, we, everyone gets to meet everyone. And we're gonna have novelties for sale. You know, it's gonna be a fun pre-show as well as a show. So, um, all all in package in one day. You know what I mean? And Good fun plug. for pretty much the kids, uh, mom, dad. <coughs> you could be in your twenties, whatever. It, it's it's uh, entertainment, and it's good to be back. Uh, I must say, Bubba, um, you know, after we went through the whole virus thing, 
we weren't allowed to go and travel. So we kind of had a hiatus of Krusty Demons live touring. So now that we can go back, we're coming back big. Well, I'm, I'm going to come back and, and I, I want to be up close and personal with yeah. people, look them in the eyes, shake their hands and say thank you for 20, 25 plus years of, of Crooks Demons and supporting us. Um, and that's why we're going to be way more hands-on and personal and, and, and approachable and available and everything's going to be good. And we're going to be doing, you know, small towns, big towns, we got we got a good schedule coming up. Um, probably starting in the end of September. I, I'm not gonna. I'll, I'll be close to stuff for the next couple of weeks on where we're going, and then we're just gonna build a masterpiece and build a a, a fun, you know, three hour show plus plus an interaction with, with everyone beforehand. So you well, can get I, all the vehicles, trucks, all that stuff. Well, I was telling uh, Adam Barker. Um, you know, we got to shoot Bub out of the cannon. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if Bub's ready to go out the cannon, but I mean, I mean, if they're, if they're going to use a fucking airbag lander in the middle of the fucking show anyways, we should shoot Bub out the cannon and then he could land on the backside of the lander and we'll just put like a slip and slide shit on it. Send him in a, in a plastic suit. Right, Johnny? I think <laughs> that sounds. Hey, hey, Bob. Just uh, when you when you weren't online, we were talking about how you know we they showed the first flash of Calham, but you know Dana and John were talking about how how many times you've gotten work, you know, filming and your commitment to it, and the you know the one big project we did together, even though we did some littler stuff together over the years was what we were talking about, Fresno, obviously. And even within that, like, you got your nose broken in a shot, and we uh, we made you puke in, like, that insane day. And, you know, I, I think all of us on this panel that are people that go for aggressive footage and have our entire lives, and we've always been drawn to it, you've stayed around for a reason, and it's because you've always been, like, the guy that's ready to like throw himself in there and you know, whatever we need you do. And you know, you take a lot of behind the scenes injuries and hits and uh, you know, anyways, a salute to you, but it, I, I was hoping you could be on it live. I know you're having technical difficulties because I have a, I have a, they're going to play a Fresno clip or two, I guess, but I have like a hidden one that I wanted to show just for you of the documentary of when we made you puke. But you won't be able to see it, but anyways, you'll, you'll be able to hear it. Didn't you make them drink a bunch of fucking alcohol and run up well, the I, got, I, I was, you know, just like John, I've got drives everywhere. So I had to dig into the, the, uh, the deep boxes of my garage looking for the drive that I, I thought had it on it. I was able to find it, get it up to YouTube, send it over to you guys. And uh, we got it. We got it railed up. Literally, this has never been posted. If we if we want to go there before, yeah. I, but you know, let's just do it. Nobody needs to see Fresno. They've either seen it or they're not. But you get the idea. We made a feature link acting comedy. Bubba was in it, which I got because he was in Krusty Two and Seth's Buddy, and we made him a cop, and he killed it. And one of the scenes he had to puke. So if you want, we can just we can just cut right to that. Let's rock and roll. We're here. Yeah, there it is. So this, this oh. I, I was super oh, happy. Oh, Bob, play. you're up there. This is, this is, it's all set Damn, up. Damn, Bob. So I didn't, look, I didn't know, I didn't need a visual of Bob in sweatpants. I didn't <laughs> oh, need to be a little, <laughs> little angry inches sticking out, Bob. Yeah, they got me a size medium sweatpants. I'm a, Jesus, I'm a Bob. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can see your grapes, Bob. Well, I know why you're sweating. You're drinking all day. Holy fuck you. <laughs> he, we made him run up those stairs at least 80 times drunk. So, like, this was a big day for Bubs. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, never before seen footage of Bubba behind the scenes, Fresno Smooth. My train Go ahead and play, Maestro. Started at the beginning, uh, though. Run up the stairs, come 
The hardest scene for me was probably a part of my training scene in which I had to uh, run up the stairs, kind of like a Rocky scene, and run up the stairs. But when I get up to the stairs, I got to puke. You got to puke straight out, then a few down. You got a longer last. I'm not getting more shit. Anyway. Pearl shot um, of the movie it was actually me, and it was just a cutaway. Took as much vodka as I could, pounded about 10 wigs to where I just couldn't even swallow anymore. <laughs> so a little bit. So we thought it would roll that easy. But you know what? The <laughs> consideration is um, Bubba is way more of an experienced drinker. We didn't get it the first day. We fed him everything from a whole fifth of vodka. <laughs> he takes the eight switch. A fifth right? of vodka, Bub. Everybody's tense. And all of a sudden, yeah. I couldn't hear. You know, he's laughing at us. I need some Grand Meunier. A whole bottle of Grand Meunier. Oh, you wanted Grand Meunier with a vodka? Yeah, and now we're like starting to fear lawsuits and alcohol poisoning and, you know, basically killing our star. Immediately, I'm drunk, wobbling, so it just wasn't good. And he basically just uh, gagged a couple times and didn't do anything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck, guys. Whacked a bottle of vodka. Whacked a bottle of Grand Meunier. Where's my foot, foot bomb here? What's that? He ain't gonna make a <laughs> yeah. you, know, you didn't have D with you. But uh, we didn't get the shot that day. And then the next day we go back there, we gave him like this, some medical drug that induces vomiting. We gave him as much Epsom salt as we could possibly give him. Cold, in cold, yeah. a pinch of rat poison. And then we get one hurl out of him, just one hurl. <laughs> but then I couldn't stop. Oh, you're cutting loose, bub. <laughs> So it took us two days to get him to hurl, and then after that, he wouldn't stop hurling for two days. So it's like, it was a never-ending thing. It was craziness. All you got to do is give him a sugar-free fucking donut, and he pukes instantly, dog. You guys didn't know that? <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> wow. That was a rough one. Give it up for Bob. That was a good one. Nice, Bob. Yeah, you should have gave him a sugar, a diet coke. You were puked. The pukeimentary. Yeah. yeah. Nice one, bud. <laughs> man, what? we have some good times making that movie as well as Crusty Demon Family. It's a whole crew. It's Brotherhood. Yeah. Can we show the beatdown? So, uh, yeah. He, they, you yes. and Sethro? Yes. Sethro so, connected. Oh, broke his nose for real in this. The actual <laughs> shot where he, he got his no, nose broken is we used in the. Movie. Oh yeah. <laughs> you can see it. Yeah, you can see it. We are the stunt doubles. Go to uh, Maestro zero uh, three thirty-seven on Fresno Smooth. Zero three thirty-seven coming up. Yes, sir. Are the midgets? No, 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 not the midgets. Uh, not, we don't need the midgets. The, it's no. the uh, it's when Boba gets his nose broken in the climactic cups. It's uh, and tell us about this Seth jump because that thing's huge. That was Carrie Hart's jump that he was reserving. <laughs> yeah. He, yeah. he was reserving for like Krusty Four or whatever we're doing at that point. Krusty Three, maybe. And, oh, okay. Uh, yeah. But he he hadn't shot for Krusty, but we were like, well, what jumps do you got? Well, you have to have something big for the beginning. He was like, I got this yeah. one, but I wanted to, you know, whatever, whatever. And I think he he, he double booked it. He got a, he shot it with us, and then he shot it with yeah, oh, they, used our something. jump. Adam used our yeah, jump. You know how many times you guys yeah. stole my jumps we over the years? Got you, you <laughs> fucker. <laughs> no, fuck I, you guys. I saw you. How many, I saw how many you jumps I've built? <laughs> Bubba, Bubba always got the intel on when we were building jumps, and Bubba would come out and get jumps for you. So we're fucking even on jumps. I'll take it on I stole your characters. Jumps, fuck you. We're good. Uh, and, and, and honestly, in all the years, like, it was nothing but pleasure to work with you guys you always always traded footage i always was able oh, yeah. to like, get shots of you there was never any conflict with you guys in footage and sharing and whatever i, no, I got nothing but good things to say about you guys but uh <laughs> this particular one was terry hart jump oh yeah and so he, didn't want, he didn't want to give it up to seth that's what it was 
So Karen <laughs> said, this was going to be my jump. My shot, I'm like, oh, we need it for Seth. That's what the problem was. So Carrie was like, dude, I, it's going to be mine. And I was like, I, I think we just finally talked him into it. And the funny thing is, it was so old school, and Carrie was, like, still trying to make a name so much that in case Seth buckled, Carrie made an exact duplicate of Seth's bike and wore exactly Seth's clothes, not because to be <laughs> a stunt man, but in case Seth wadded, we still had to get the shot. Carrie was ready to be Seth Stuntman, which, like, you know, it's just all its all in the timing. Like, yeah, yeah, he didn't yeah. have a name yet, so he was going to do that just to be, you know, just to fill in in case Seth a went Stuntman, yeah. Shot. Wow, that was pretty cool. That's rad. That's rad, dude. Okay, let's play it, Maestro. Here we go. Fresno Smooth. No way, that is him. Dude, I heard that guy was dead. <laughs> no, I guess, One married 420, pick up over. 420 here. Zelda, what you got for me, over? Sarge wants you to head toward the present distance. <laughs> Seems as we have some sort of illegal conglomeration underway. That's all you had to say, honey. Bubba Bernardo. <laughs> there he goes. Harold Hunter. <laughs> Over jump. Hey, baby, yeah. Oh. Yeah, baby. Oh. <laughs> I can't believe you hung on to that bitch. Landed flat. Come on, man. flat. Give me my money. Give me my money. I'll try to play. Here comes Bob. And Turnage. R.I.P. Bernardo. was Bubba's Get over here, boy. Turnage. Look at his face. <laughs> Looks like we got ourselves a goddamn motocross route. You're going downtown, son. What for? Did you hear that, Bubba? I think I heard that pretty boy call you a pig. You call me a pig, son? What? <laughs> oh. Oh my God, Seth. <laughs> you got a smackdown, bud. <laughs> so cheesy. So well in trouble, boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, cut. Yeah, we can cut there, Maestro. Oh, man. Those were good times, man. Oh, there's Ice-T. The yeah, you got Ice-T ice right yeah, there. That was the wrong <laughs> Nice. <laughs> yeah, hey, Bub, do you remember what, when you, you guys filmed something at the 17th Street Donut Shop with Fresno Smooth, didn't you? Yeah. What was that? What was that scene? Adam doesn't remember. I was telling him that's when it pissed me off. I was all salty because you guys filmed it. Because remember we did the the uh, paper boy skit there. What did you guys do for Fresno? You did a scene there, right? That was another donut shop, but uh, I, I think I wasn't there. But uh, yeah, that was with uh, Rusty and, and Ron Jeremy and some of his and girlfriends. That was not at a donut that shop. Was that was Mexican at a one. burrito shop in Riverside. Yeah, that's right. yeah. maybe was we're confusing a donut shop. Yeah, maybe. I just remember there was something that was like right down the street from Seth's house. The, Seth the Mexican Ray. restaurant. I don't know, but all good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> see, see, you're you're mad all those years and something that didn't even happen. Fuck you! <laughs> the first of you. No, I know. I was never mad. Oh, it was, that, that was I, was, I, was I, I would poke a stick at you. You hey. know what I mean? I would. Hey, well, I would give you. Hey, I would give the high five that you deserve. We'll leave it like that. You know what I mean? So, Adam, what was it like working with uh, Rusty Setzer? Uh, I mean, it was it was super fun. It was amazing. It, like, <laughs> it, and. Uh, well, he was a, he was. Set I mean, soccer. directing that guy, he probably <laughs> just said, "Okay, I'm going." I'm. It was, you know, Russ is badass. It, it, you know, it's yeah. like uh, he's got so much 
energy and so much crazy that it's hard to confine him. But like, when you do, you got a bunch of takes where he, he's all over the place. But he nails it. He nails it good. Like I, I loved working with Rusty. I, it, and it was fun to travel with Rusty as well. Like the dude was just hilarious and he was super fun. And, you know, he always got us in the hijinks. Like there was a time me, Seth and him and Hart were in some bar in Utah, like the most tame city in the world. Somehow Rusty gets us all in a fight. Rusty gets a beat up. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, the whole, he got he got so like he couldn't he like almost got a concussion the whole ride home he's like what happened what happened we like explain it to him and he'd be like oh okay what dude, he's like did i win we're like i don't think so and then you like five minutes later what happened whatever like dude we just talked about it for like an hour you don't you don't remember anymore you know, whatever with russ and uh, uh i don't know like it, that was just one story but Generally, you know, it was it was always fun with 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 fucking Rusty, dude. The guy's a champ, and he's he's a, he's a one of a kind. And if you can harness his power, you're gonna get rad shit out of it. <laughs> That's all. Yeah, you harness him. I think we got quite a bit of Rust. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah sure. Over the years, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the best, the he's still is. awesome. He's riding like I don't know twenty foot waves now. You know, oh, he's been, oh, he's yeah. always been an insane yeah, yeah, surfer. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He was just trying to catch up with Seth, knowing he didn't have to have total skills to get in video. He would be your guys's just whipping talk it. Can it straight <laughs> in the ocean like that? What? What are your chances of survival, Russ? On that one? <laughs> nothing. Where are you going? On going, going off a cliff on a little little baby car. What are your chances of survival on that, Russ? Like you, oh, the hot <laughs> water is the sickest shot in movie history. <laughs> like what the fuck? And the best part about hook and footer, which I wish we could cue that up, is not the, not the stunt, but like somebody tries to help him up, and Russ is like, "Get away! I gotta walk away myself to like make the shot complete." Like I'm just gonna go down there and hit the comforter. It's like, yeah. bro, you <laughs> missed the comforter. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you, missed, you landed Dude. between the, the table and the couch. I want to know the history of that shot. Yeah, that's one of my favorite well, stories hey, ever. He told us a story, and, and he said that he was trying to upstage somebody because they jumped off, like, the first balcony. <laughs> oh, he was trying to upstage the guys in Whiskey. Yeah, from Whiskey. Oh, Whiskey. Those guys are gnarly. I was about yeah, to say. That was uh, Johnson. Whiskey can fuck with anybody. Whiskey. Hey, gnarly. straight blew him out, Sean, though. Sean Johnson and that crew. Yeah, Sean Johnson. Bo- Boozy the Clown was yep, the dude. Yep. Roof top, Boozy was running. all time. I was, I was a all big over dude. Canada. Those guys were gnarly. Boozy was crazy. Yeah, Boozy. <laughs> we would watch shopping. those in the dorms. I would gather people like you got to see this, and there would be this like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we would go hang out with those fucking people. That was always fun. Oh, you guys were you yeah. neck and neck. You guys are in the same, the same. Yes, I miss only Well, remember we were snowboarders too, so they a lot yeah. of them were up in Canada. Were coming from the snowboard. We found all those guys in Vancouver, right? Yeah, in Vancouver. That was yeah. Good. I forget. Hey. What was the name of those guys, Bob? It was uh, uh, <laughs> not beer fridge, but it was like it was something else. I forget. But their but their movie was whiskey. Check it out. Yeah. Fans. You can find hey, it online, I'm sure. Don't we gotta tell people to push yeah. the subscribe button on their on their deal where they're watching our show. And hey, we gotta watch some more of the rest of the footage we're gonna watch because we're like getting like an hour into this freaking show. Yeah. What a good show, huh? We're just fucking pinning it all we we got a fun shit to talk what, about. Do we- about- uh, Maestro, just oh, just, just to. Right, Love you, Bob. Cheers, Bob. Have fun. Okay, I'll talk to you. Watch guys. out for the round girls. All right, rock and roll, Bob. Yeah, Bob. <laughs> uh, just for shits and giggles, uh, let's go to uh, Fresno Smooth. In point eleven twenty two, Maestro. 
That scene's actually a pretty good one. Tony Alva, Tony Hawk, Jeff Emig, and Tony Little from the infomercials. Yep. Can <laughs> about. Let her go. Hello. Yeah, hey, what's up, Bryce? Oh, yeah. Um, Jeff hey, Hammett. Is there any way that we can uh, change it? Because me and Jay are going up to Fresno this weekend for that uh, free ride contract. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Jeremy Albrecht. Don't even tell me you're changing the plans. Yeah, brother. Slight detour. We got to go talk to some advertising marketing coup. Can just take a second? What? We? What are you talking about we? I ain't going to the wall chase. I'm going straight to Fresno, find a bar, sit down and drink some badass Jack and Cokes, and be hitting on some filthy white trash hookers. Period. <laughs> Look, I promise this guy, I just want to get it out of the way. This guy's been bugging me forever. It's almost out <laughs> Nothing, nothing. That's <laughs> so ridiculous. <laughs> You can stop awesome. right there, Maestro. Yeah. Unless you want to go into this, Adam. I'm no, no. I thought we were doing uh well, I think okay. it's funny that we say Brian Deegan, but uh David Castillo. No, I, if you want to go there, we're this talking one's... about the marketing scene. It is, I, mean, I can just watch that shit all day long. It's so funny. You don't see shit for so long and then you see it, it just kills you. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm playing. <laughs> well, why don't we go to the why don't we go to the actual uh, thing that you did in an edit and let's go to the Bubba Rocky skit uh, where uh, let's go in at 1455 and we'll know why Bubba's so pissed off. <laughs> <laughs> that girl, Leticia, that's recreating was a, a legit actress and we uh, oh, yeah. killed it at that part. Oh, this is the oh. day I met Link. Uh, this, this is Metzger's house right there. Yeah, I was going to say, that's Max's house, huh? That's like his uh -huh. house. This was the day that I met Larry Link Linkogel for the first time and became friends <laughs> forever. The, the very first time I saw him, he got a bunch of money. He's about to throw it at the camera. And the first thing we had together is like, I'm covering the lens of the camera going, don't throw the mud. And he stops. <laughs> and it's like, I still have that footage. And it's such a funny way to meet a dude that will become a lifelong friend. But. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, so let's let's go there. Fourteen fifty-five. Let's roll it. Yeah. This is the band called the White Caps. Oh. What the hell are you doing here so early? I don't need to hear your mouth right now, woman. <laughs> Smoking and drinking preg. Together we can overcome. Can't make you a beer after a hard day's work. Fat ass, don't need another beer. Anyways, I the last one right here. Give me that can of Hey, come on, Bubba, that's my soap. I've been waiting all this week to find out if Blake Flanagan's me. love is a transvestite. <laughs> Today, the credibility of Fresno City Law was shaken to its very root. Let's go live to Susie Wong at the courthouse. Municipal Court Judge Fred Frillhausen today had the local motocross hero, Seth Enslow, from among other things, riding motocross. It's not only crime, but rather the unique punishment. We have with us Seth's attorney. From your perspective, how do things go? I don't care, really. You know, it wasn't that great. I mean, the judge was just freaking out all over the place. I just figured he wasn't getting enough pussy, you know. <laughs> that was Lammy's first time ever acting, by the way. Oh, really? Which he was. Except in an episode of The Young Ones. Jeff has been suspended for motocross, consuming alcohol, and consorting with women for one calendar year. In addition, <laughs> Seth must accept a court-appointed job. Let's go back live with the court. I was simply doing what had to be done. If these moto punks think that they can take over my town and use it as a stage for their tomfoolery... <laughs> They've got another thing coming. Enslow, if you're watching... Edgar, J-Bone, Carrie Hart. <laughs> Seth verdict has already caused some considerable backlash. Let's go back to Susie Wong at the courthouse. As you can see behind me, the courthouse has turned into... A Witnesses claim that Fresno police officer Bubba Bernardo harassed and badgered Enslow on the day of the arrest. <laughs> oh, the boss. Oh, Bubba's reaction. <laughs> Bubba's a good actor. <laughs> yeah, he is. What the hell is that, Bubba? You got your ass whooped by some motocrosser? Shut your hole, woman! 
<laughs> it's already bad enough without your two cents. My two cents? We're going to be the laughing stock of Fresno. You're the scrap. That was so good. <laughs> My boy's not going to be called no Blade Flanagan Jr. Well, it sure as hell ain't going to be called Bubba Jr. Not after this. Oh, my buddy, he's so wow. Here he is. Go, Bob. Angelo, I know just what to do. <laughs> I forgot Bubba had a mustache. <laughs> <laughs> This was a ripoff of Apocalypse Now, where he stares at the mirror. <laughs> a little trivia, Nikki Six actually cleared this song for us. They had said no, and Nikki Six saw the movie and said, yeah. Oh, uh, cool. So thank you, Nikki Six. <laughs> 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 oh, he really split his pants right there. I love this one, Adam. <laughs> I, I wish I could take credit for it. That particular shot was all to Midas. Most of the shit was me, but Troy had a few great Oh, here it is. That was one of them. Get it, Bob. You got the real deal there. <laughs> we can cut that right there. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Yeah, that was pretty fucking funny. <laughs> yeah, you can cut that one, Maestro. We might uh, be able to maybe cut our show right here. Yeah. That was a pretty good ending right there. Uh, that was badass, Adam. That was funny shit. <laughs> you know, that, that, that movie was like the greatest times and the worst of times. Like, it had such a hard time coming out. I actually just completely put it aside, but it definitely put my name on the map, which led to... My fuel show, working for the X Games, more working with you guys. So as much as the movie really had a hard time finding its roof, it did like it <laughs> did start my career. But it was always it was always love hate. Like sometimes I'd drop it and people would be like, We don't want to work with you. Other times I'd drop it and they'd be like, dude, we want to work with you. It's, <laughs> it's a funny part to we'll, like start. We'll just show. just for the, the fans out there, um, what Adam's talking about is he went on to make uh, a pretty cool uh, series called M80. So check that out. I'm sure you can find that on probably YouTube and stuff like that. Is Am I right, Adam? Probably find uh, it. Yeah. Uh, the I, series I, I, of I don't know. M80s. I think a few of the They're episodes. pretty classic. And we worked of... with Adam on quite a bit of those. He, Adam actually traveled with us to Australia to cover kind of behind the scenes of what we were doing and crusty like live tours and things like that. So. Yeah, no, I remember. Well, there's fan yeah. asking about like, we thought about new crusty movies. And for that answer, we are going to do a documentary at some point and skim through everything. Uh, Legends of film. We're talking about uh, all the producers, kind of like how we're doing with you, Adam and athletes, but uh, yeah. hey, don't maestro. Don't we got to tell the subscribers like, Subscribe now so they get subscribe it. now. Yeah. Subscribe now. <laughs> Hit the like hey, button. When you yeah. guys do that doc, like, I'll help behind the scenes or whatever. And uh, uh -huh. I, I, and I'm actually diving into a motocross doc as well, which I'm going to keep secret, but it's coming out. So we'll both be doing docs at the same time. But any crossover, I've really just I'll just go ahead and say it. I've really appreciated, you know, a the inspiration you guys gave me, which helped start my career, but. Also, the parallel lines we had the whole way through, you know, trading footage, interviewing you guys endlessly. I've probably interviewed both of you at least nine times over the years. You, uh -huh. you know, it, it just like access to your shows and your, you know, your premieres and your guys. And, you know, it's that 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 time in moto. I'm, I'm way more professional now, quote unquote. But those memories live on forever. <laughs> <laughs> years of insanity of you know <laughs> it, it, it's like I, i'm so happy that that's what my background 
background is because it honestly helps me <laughs> in the corporate world. Like, that, you know, if we really got to get down and run and gun, I'm like you have no idea how many laws I've broken filming, you know, before <laughs> I got you in the meantime, I can still do the corporate level and do the pecking order. But, you know, you guys are a part of my history, Bubba, Dana, Seth, you know, it's, it's been a fun ride with all of you guys and continues to be, we, we still see each other at events all the time and it's always great. Seth, I'll throw in there too. And Zabo and, uh, you know, anyways, I, I, I'm happy that it, our lives cra- crossed when they did. We've been able to have so many good memories together over the years. <laughs> Rock yeah. and roll, crusty guys, like, you know. Well, it, it, does, it, doesn't, doesn't it doesn't stop there, my friend. Hey, what does corporate world we mean? To write. What, what is it, corporate it world? I, I work what? For, so I did, I, did, <laughs> I did switch over to advertising. And so I've worked for companies and now I've got a freelance company that, you know, tackles uh, videos for corporate, basically. You know, I, I've done a lot of stuff, but it's always got a little bit of foot still in action sports. Like you can't change <laughs> that aggressive attitude. Like it always pops through. I'm still sort of the more aggressive choice, I guess. you could say. Is, is corporate like <laughs> filming a soup can or something like that? No, no, we make them sweet. Like I did stuff with Tony Horton where we do acting that's right along the lines of your guys' skits. Like, you know, have him playing a barista with a bunch of angry customers and, you know, but uh, a lot of documentary style stuff as well. Nice. But nice. for big clients, like I did a Hot Topic, who was a dope ass company to work for. They literally gave me no, we would do zombie fights in the middle of their headquarters for one of their <laughs> You know, so it's like, um, even though it's quote unquote corporate, I'm always still aligning with myself with companies that are ready to push it, you know, a little bit. So, yeah, yeah, no, that's awesome. That's awesome. Well, cool. Well, that's a big ass. That's a long ass show. We we got, you got the, the award for the longest show, Adam, I think. (laughs) Yeah, we got, we got a few shout outs for you here, buddy. Holy fuck. It's four. Wait, it's 430, but go ahead. Real quick, real quick here, Dana. I missed right. 420. You're going to, yeah, it almost, almost <laughs> it is almost, it's just past 420. Don't panic. <laughs> some, some of the comments I can't post up here, so I got to read them out. If the hoot is too big, drink a sip of cold water to cool your throat. Ha ha. All right. All right. Okay. Dude, All look right. At it. take a breath. Get off the pipe. <laughs> <laughs> All right. uh, a little shout out from Queensland. Thank you very much to all our watchers, all our viewers in Queensland. Uh, Krusty 2 was the best one of them all. Agreed. Agreed. <laughs> yeah, it's That's a toss-up, right. man. For us, it's like a blend. I, I kind of yep. – I forget what was in which one. Right. The, the best right. trivia is uh, ask people – everyone thinks the Bubba skit was in Krusty 1. And it was in Krusty too. It's, it's it was a two. Yeah, I challenged so many people with that over the years. Yeah, yeah no, that is that's even tricked me once in a while. That's <laughs> even got me once in a while. Bub's asking, <laughs> Bub, but well, Bub was filming with us in snowboarding before Krusty yeah. one or during the film. in Double O Zabo. We blew his head off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. with a bazooka, dude. Those <laughs> my favorite. The, the, I love those Double O Zabos. Yeah, those were so good. Yep. Hey, we're gonna have to show those uh, early films from both of you guys as college days one time. Yes. <laughs> we'll have to dig those out. I gotta find Dana, it. Dana, you gotta come up with something too. We'll all, we'll all come to the table. We'll all we'll all make it a party <laughs> night, and we'll all just like do a triple feature. It'll be fucking amazing. <laughs> Adam, my my first video was my marriage video. I got married in Maui, and me and my chick just jumped on a plane. And I brought a camera and a tripod and just filmed our trip. And when we got back, we just showed, like I made, edited the video together. And then we played it at the, whatever, we had like a reception. So you got the whole experience, the wedding, the honeymoon, the whole deal. That was my first production. Cool. Yep. Yep. And then I got him. <laughs> Yeah, turned him into a villain. When I first, the, the, I remember when I first met Dana. It was at some Fox thing, and he had the like, he had his hair was in two the twin turbos. 
Yeah. That, that was, was that so was when I very first met him. I was like, dude, that guy's out of his mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely had issues. <laughs> well, cool, man. All right, well, we'll have to do it again soon. All right, and guys. The thanks. are definitely loving it. Thank you very much, Adam. Well, hey, thank right. you, guys. Always a pleasure. All, All right, right, everybody out there. Yeah. Subscribe so we can keep building this fucking thing up. All right, yeah. we're yeah. gonna keep going every Tuesday. Yep. Keep, keep the last, keep the last <laughs> comment, guys. Says, uh, one, one of the comments says, "I didn't wear my sports bra, so my tits are still bouncing." Uh, nice. <laughs> that was Bub's comment when he was yeah. driving down the outback. Yeah, you gotta get. What, Bub's fucked up because he'll do like the nipple rub shit on you, and that's like a bad visual. So, <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to sign out with that either. So, hey, right. and I'll give a plug to Bub. You get anybody uh, uh, that's uh, everybody should follow on social media because it's always funny. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 absolutely. Well, all right, cool, guys, ladies. rock and roll. Nothing yeah. better than a rock, rock and roll. Thanks, everyone. Peace. <laughs> Peace. Here we go. See ya. <laughs>